Hello, I'm Superintendent Maria Vasquez. Welcome to Hispanic Heritage Month. And I'm Maria Salamanca, your school board member representing District 2. We have with us today two students from Lake Nona and Colonial High Schools. Board member Salamanca, would you mind introducing them? Of course. So I have Diego Salazar here from Lake Nona High School, he's a senior, and Arisha from Colonial High School, a junior there. Um, and the two of them were among the group of fellows who interned with me this past summer, uh, each of them following their passions and developing ideas and projects on how to improve that high school experience. And I just love that you have these fellows, students who are providing us with insights from their perspective. So both of you actually came to the board meeting and presented the findings of your project. So uh, Diego, do you wanna share with us what your project was about? Yeah, so my project was mainly on student motivation and that kind of encompassed like a part, uh, a main part of that was information. So uh, something in my school that I saw a lot was people, like we have a lot of opportunities available, but people don't know, the, not everyone knows about them. Uh, and so I feel like if people had a way to have all of their like information for extracurriculars, um, suggested classes, things like that that they can do um, for each goal. So like if you want to go to like an out of state STEM school, or you want to go to UF or UCF, or like depending on like what level of like um, college or secondary activity you want or like post secondary activity you want to do, uh, here's what you can do. Here's what you should do. Here's what could help you do that, and then we give that on day one so that they can see that as freshmen and build that for four years. Okay, that's great. Arisha, you also came and shared your project. Can you tell all of our viewers what you focused on? Yes, um, my project is based on CTE Pathways, more of a handbook, um, to create alternatives and to show students um, an easier way for them to view opportunities they have, whether they don't want to go to college or not. So in the handbook, we have um, things that could really work with their personalities and how they are as a person and like what category or what career and field they could go into as well as salaries that they could have um, after getting the job or the career that they want to go to and focusing on other locations as well if they want to move to a different part of the state other alternatives that they could have instead of going like to OTC or any other technical college that we have here in Florida and we have a bunch of different um, categories as well. So it's, it won't just be like medical assisting or construction, it could be air conditioning, anything that you can find in a trade school. I love the idea of the handbook, like a one-stop shop. Even though we have the information on our website, it's much more consolidated in there. And for those that don't want to go to college, and for some of them, they may want to do college, but at a later mm -hmm. point in time. So yeah. both of you had some amazing uh, projects that really provided wonderful insights for us and also benefit our students. We love hearing uh, such valuable information and input from our students because at the end of the day we want your experience to be the very best that it can be so appreciate that. And we're here today to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month as well and what better way to do so than with uh, two awesome Latinos that are here with us today who also identify all right, so Risha, your family is origin is from? Mexico. Diego? Venezuela. No, I'm Colombian. Right. My parents immigrated here to the United States from Cuba. My dad was actually born in, in Spain. And so many people don't realize that 56% of our students actually identify as um, Hispanics. And so for us, you know, we, we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, but you know, I like to say we're Hispanic more than just a month out of the year. So um, I'm gonna put you both on the spot, okay? <laughs> and so can you tell me what are you most proud of as it relates to your, your culture, your heritage? I'll say it's my empanadas. I love the Colombian <laughs> I think food is probably one of the biggest things, yeah. yeah. I think the culture is very rich. Like in Mexico we have, like coming up, we have Day of the Dead in yes. October. Yes. I love it. Like. I'm going to Mexico actually to see it in real life. Be your first time seeing it? Yeah, it would be. That's How exciting. exciting it is. You know, I, I do love the food. It's amazing. <laughs> um, I think the, the family aspect of our, of our culture is also very important to mm -hmm. me because we are extremely connected 
to our family, our extended family. Um, and I think that's one of the things that I'm so, I'm so proud of. So some of you may not know, and some of our viewers may not know, that we've just opened mm -hmm. um, a Global Family Welcome Center. And similar to what you said about finding information, actually both of you, this is going to be a place, one stop shop for our families who come here from around the world, who speak a language other than English. They're gonna be able to find information about registration, uh, about resources that are available to them and to their child so that they can be successful um, in school. It's going to be really great for our families. I hear questions from parents and all of our schools, definitely Colonial Lake Nona, who are always trying to navigate um, the resources. It's a whole new education system, and so that's so exciting for us. It really is. So, Board Member Salamanca, I'm kind of going to put you on the on the spot. So, you, may, I, I think most of our viewers may know this, but you actually came here, right, from another country. You were a student. Yes. Right in our school system. Uh, you were valedictorian of your class, or in the top 10 of your class. Top 10, top, top 10. 10. We had, who knew, I actually had the opportunity to meet you when I was uh, an area superintendent. So based on your experience as a second language learner, came here from another country, what advice do you have for our families, our students who are watching and listening? Yeah, well, one of the great advantages of this district is how diverse it is, and that is our staff and our teachers. And when I came to this country, I did not speak any English. So first, second, and third grade, I was at the time ESOL classes, um, and I transitioned out of that eventually. But it was so key to have staff and administrators that helped my family navigate the different resources, the programs, what, it, what was ESOL at the time, what was the FCAT, which was our testing back in the day. Mm. And that, that was really a blessing for my family to have those staff and teachers guide us. And I think that's still the case in OCPS where you have incredible diverse talent and teachers who really just care deeply about our families. Well, thank you for sharing that. There are so many resources out there for our families. Um, this month, we get to see how our schools recognize um, Hispanic heritage with foods and dances and information about our culture so that we are all better informed. Uh, and I, I am just so excited to see what happens in our schools. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us. Diego, congratulations. Uh, you're going to have an amazing uh, senior year. Can't wait to hear back what your journey is post high school. And we are probably going to have you come back and join us next year. See what other wonderful information you can share <laughs> with us and our viewers. Yeah, hopefully. Yes, we will. Thank you so much for joining us during this Hispanic Heritage Culture Celebration. Mm -hmm.